To what extent are you using Twitter as a tool of uh, political uh, persuasion and reaching out to your own population or to India's? To, to what extent is Twitter a, a tool for you? I try my best uh, to convey my feelings. Uh, I do feel, uh, Richard, I honestly feel I'm sitting in front of you. I have known India. I have had love and respect from India and fan following because India loves cricket more than any other Pakistani. I'm more worried about India right now than, um, than probably even Pakistan because India is not heading in the right direction. If you see what has happened in India in the last six years, it is frightening for some of us. It's not the India I know of Gandhi and Nehru. It is this ideology that has taken over India of Hindu supremacy. And this, whatever such an ideology takes over, there's always something they blame. The other, the, there is, uh, you have to hate someone to be, you know, supreme and an exclusive Hindu India. The, this is the ideology that assassinated Gandhi. Uh, this is the ideology was banned in India for three times. And now, unfortunately, it, it, it is uh, running India. And I, I fear, because I think you can, you can reason, as long as you can reason with people, uh, the two nuclear armed countries uh, need not worry about anything. But unfortunately, with this ideology of racial supremacy, I don't think you can reason, and, I, I, and I'm generally worried. And that's why I'm going to speak, I'm speaking to the heads of state. I've just spoken to uh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson. I will speak to Donald Trump. I will speak to other leaders. I will speak in the U.S. I'll try my best that the world must intervene before this goes too far.